Hi, I'm Yes from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the most popular WordPress theme in the world, Astra. And recently, we released a new update to the Starter Templates plugin with a bunch of brand new features to help upgrade your website building process and save you time. And if you're only hearing about Starter Templates for the first time, Starter Templates is our library of beautiful and fully functional website templates that you can install with just a few clicks. If that sounds good to you, follow me onto my computer and let me show you how you can build your websites faster with Starter Templates. Let's go. First, you have to install the Starter Templates plugin through the WordPress repository. Then you can find Starter Templates under the Appearance tab in your WordPress dashboard. Once you click on it, you'll be greeted with this welcome video. You can go ahead and press the button below to get started. The first step is to choose the page builder you'd like to use to build your website with. You have three options to choose from, including Gutenberg, Elementor, and Beaver Builder. You can go ahead and choose the one you'd like to use. For this video, let's go ahead with Elementor. Once you've chosen the page builder you want to use, you'll see a full library of starter templates available for that page builder. You can see we have a variety of different designs to choose from, so you can definitely find one to suit any kind of website you're looking to build. For example, we have templates for an outdoor blog, a food blog, business magazine, restaurants, cafes, and so much more. And even if you may not find a template that's exactly for your business or brand, you can find one that's close enough to use as a starting point to build your website with. You can use the search bar at the top to look for specific template designs you're looking for. For example, if I type in food, you can see all the templates related to food. Right here, you'll find some categories, and clicking on these will filter the templates to show you all the ones in that category. And on the right hand side, you can also sort the templates based on popularity or by latest to oldest. And you might have noticed that some templates have a label that says premium on it. These are our premium starter templates, and to access them, you need to purchase an essential or growth bundle. However, there are plenty of different templates from many different categories for you to choose from. If you found a few template designs you like, we still want to continue browsing. You can add the ones you like as favorites by clicking on the little heart at the bottom of the template card. To view your favorites, all you have to do is click on the heart icon on the top right here, and that will show you all the templates that you have selected as favorites. Once you know which starter template you'd like to proceed with, you can click on its card to proceed. Then on the next step, you have the option to upload your own logo onto this template. If you have a logo, you can go ahead and upload it now, and it will immediately show you what it will look like with this template design. You can also adjust the size of the logo over here until you're happy with how it looks. If you don't have a logo just yet, you can always upload one later on. So let's skip and continue for now. This tip is a really cool one where you can customize some aspects of your website before you load up the template. You can customize both the color palette for your website as well as the typography. On this screen, you have some preset options you can click through to see how your website can look with the selected color palette. As you click on the different color palettes, you'll notice that it shows you what it can look like live on the preview here. If the options here aren't exactly what you're after, don't worry, you can of course adjust these colors later on. Below the color selection, you also have the option of choosing one of many different typography presets. These presets are professionally chosen font combinations to help give your website the look that you're after. You can click through them and choose one you like, or you can click here to keep the default typography for that template. And once you're happy with the color palette and typography design, you can proceed on to the final step. Here, you can enter your details and check this box here if you'd like to receive exclusive offers about our products. And below that, you have a few advanced settings you can customize. The first one is to import customizer settings. This is referring to the global customizer settings on your WordPress website. If you enable this option, it will override all existing customizer settings with the ones from the template, giving it the exact look and design of the actual demo of that template. Next, we have Import Widgets. Enabling this will import all widgets that are used in the template demo. If you want your website to look and function exactly like the template you've chosen, then I'd recommend you leave this checked. Next, we have Import Content. So this will import all the dummy pages posts, photos, and menus from the template demo onto your website. I would recommend leaving this checked as well because it gives you the nice starting point to begin customizing your website after the template is imported. Lastly, we have a box for share non-sensitive data. I recommend leaving this on as well because this will anonymously share non-sensitive data with the developers so that we can improve starter templates and build even better products. All right, now that all of that's out of the way, let's go ahead and import our template. All you have to do now is sit back and let Starter Templates build your website for you. And there you have it. Our website is now ready and you can click over here to go check it out.
As you can see, Starter Templates has done the heavy lifting for you, and we have this beautiful, fully functioning website ready for you. All you have to do from here is customize and tweak it to match your needs. Now, even though your Starter Template comes with these free to use, royalty free images, Brainstorm Force cannot take responsibility for any copyright issues that may arise. So I recommend you treat these images from the Starter Templates as placeholders and replace them with images of your own to avoid any potential problems. To change the images on your website, it's very easy. Just click on the section or widget where the image is, and you can go ahead and replace that image. With Starter Templates, you also get built-in access to free-to-use, royalty-free images via Pixabay. When you're on the Insert Media menu, all you have to do is click on the Free Images tab right here. And you can see on the right-hand side, it says Powered by Pixabay. You can search for the kind of images you're looking for and select the one you'd like to use. Let's go ahead and select this one right here for this video and insert it onto our website. And that looks really good and it was really easy to do. If you've imported a starter template, then change your mind about the one you're using. You can always import another starter template and replace the one you currently have. Again, all you have to do is go into your WordPress dashboard, then on the left hand side, go to your appearance tab, and then click on starter templates. You can follow the same exact steps as the first time and choose the page builder you want to use, followed by the desired starter template. This time, let's go ahead with the Gutenberg block editor, and let's choose this template right here. Once you get to the last tip, you might notice a new advanced option, and this asks you if you'd like to delete the previously imported site. If you want your website to look exactly like the demo of the new starter template you're trying to import without having any issues, then I recommend you leave this option checked and then proceed to import your template. After Starter Templates completes building your website, here it is. Once again, another professionally designed, beautiful website, up and running and ready for you to customize. And it doesn't stop there with Starter Templates, no. With Starter Templates, you also have the option to load up any page you'd like from any other Starter Template. In Gutenberg, you just have to go to edit your page, and right at the top, you see a button called Starter Templates. Then you can click on Pages to view all the different templates once again, and choose a specific page you'd like to load. Then you can simply import that page separately along with all of its design onto your website. That's pretty cool, huh? You can do this with Elementor as well by clicking on Starter Templates logo when adding a new block too. On top of that, with Gutenberg, you also have access to block patterns and wireframe blocks. Block patterns are a pre-designed section of your website you can drop straight onto your web page. This gives you more options to customize your website even further after loading up Starter Templates. And with wireframe blocks, you can get blocks similar to those in block patterns but without any of the content or color palettes applied. This can be helpful if you're designing layouts and creating wireframes for your clients. And of course, you'd need to modify the text on your website after installing a starter template. It's very easy to do that as well. And with Elementor, you click on Edit Your Page with Elementor and go click on the text you'd like to edit. Then you can easily write, delete, or modify any of the text within that text box. You can do the exact same with Block Editor and Beaver Builder as well. That's it for this video. Comment down below. Let me know which starter template that you're looking forward to checking out. If you got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. And if you want to check out some of our WordPress tutorials, you can click on this playlist here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.